I need a co-host. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Ashley, and today is Halloween and Earth Day Thursday. And I'm Marlon, reporting from Room 218. This is your morning news. YouTubers and streamers are starting a hashtag Team Trees movement to plant 20 million trees by 2020 and are already a quarter way to their goal. This challenge is headed by Jimmy Donaldson, better known as Mr. Beast, and former NASA scientist Mark Rover. For every dollar donated to the cause, one tree will be planted. Prominent includers include Alan Walker, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, and Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who has donated $1 million to the movement. NASA released some spooky pictures on Twitter this week. One of them is an image of two galaxies colliding, taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in June. The eyes are actually the cores of the two galaxies. In about 1.2 billion years, the collided galaxy will fully emerge. The second image was originally taken in 2014 by the Solar Dynamics Observatory and shows the sun's active regions almost resembling a pumpkin. Today is Halloween. Are you excited, Slate? This is one of the oldest celebrated holidays around the globe. Halloween was first celebrated by the ancient Celtics during the Festival of Samhain. During the mid-1800s, when the Irish and Scottish immigrated to the United States, they popularized the tradition of Halloween in America. During the Great Depression, teens would act mischievous and vandalize private properties. In response, local communities created block parties, lasting hours where children and teens would go from house to house collecting treats. This eventually became trick-or-treating, one of the main activities of Halloween, as well as throwing parties, dressing up in costume, and scaring friends with pranks. Have a safe Halloween this year, Wildcats, and make sure to check your candy. This has been Holiday Histories, wishing you a happy Halloween! Now on to school news. The senior class is having a Halloween-themed cornhole game today. We will be doing this both lunches. Bring donations for the dance marathon and enjoy playing against your friends and teachers. Attention seniors, the yearbook needs your senior quotes. Check the flyers in the hallway bulletin boards and poster signs for the QR code you will need to scan for the link. Scan the QR code, answer the questions, then submit. You will need to submit your senior quote before November 2nd. For more information, stop by Mrs. Norton's room, 335, or check the yearbook Instagram at your Winter Park Yearbook. Boys basketball trials will be held Monday, November 4th in the main campus gym. 10th 12th graders will try out from 2.45 to 5 p.m. 9th graders will begin at 5 p.m. and finish at 6.30. Any questions, please contact Coach Colettis. Are you interested in learning about unbiased American issues in politics? Junior State of America, a nationally recognized club, has started their own chapter at Winter Park High School. Their first meeting will be on Monday, November 4th in room 213. Hope to see you there. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Collins in room 213. November is Sustainable Fashion Month for Cats for Conservation. On Monday, November 4th in room A51, Tammy Jo Fashion will be coming to speak to us about ethical fashion. There will also be other news about the other fashion activities taking place this month. Everyone is welcome. Congratulations to our Model UN Club who represented Winter Park High School at UCF this past weekend. Mitchell Reed and Leslie Roberts are in best position papers at the conference. If you are interested in current events, global affairs, now is the time to join Model UN. We will meet on Friday in room 239 at 2.30. Hey gamers, come up to Room A62 for a fighting game tournament this Friday after school. The winner will receive a special prize. Ooh. Youth in government involves thousands of students nationwide in state-organized model government programs. Students practice writing laws and debate hot politic topics. Youth in government meetings are on Thursdays at 235 to 335 in the main campus in room 238. Bring a friend and stop by to see if you are interested. For more info, contact Mr. Jamerson on the main campus. Attention all students who like good music. Bring funk to earth tomorrow. What? What? Bringing funk to earth Friday night. Aloma Funk is playing at Austin's Coffee at 8 p.m. Admission is free and the music and atmosphere is out of this world. You don't want to miss it. Get off my boat. Go. What are you doing?
Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a fantastic Thursday and a great Halloween. Now stay tuned for this segment. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Morgan, and here's three easy ways to stay safe on Halloween. Step one, always look before you cross the street. Step two, make sure you're visible to drivers. Step three, try to get to bed at a decent time. Remember you have school tomorrow. Stay safe and have fun, but not too much fun.